Do you use Duraliner in your home? Well, for me, I am a huge, huge believer in the power of the drawer liner. Okay, the reason why is because when your drawers have liners in them, not only does it help things from like sliding around and keeping your drawers tidy, but it also adds a level of decor to your home that you're most likely going to want to keep. There's been research that has shown when you have a room or space in your house that is actually decorated and you feel like it represents who you are, you are more likely to keep that space organized and put together than you are with a room that you don't feel as connected to. The same goes with drawers and using drawer liner. If you find drawer liner that you love and that just speaks to you, you are more likely going to keep that drawer organized. So I partnered with the Duck brand to teach you how to use their easy liner to line drawers the easy way. Hey there, I'm Jessica, the organized mama. I'm family organizing expert that helps you with using tips, tricks, and tutorials the entire family can do. Okay, step one is to unroll the entire roll of liner and then roll it up the other way. This will help smooth it so it's not kind of like curvy at the ends, okay? Step two is to see if you can possibly remove the drawer. If not, no worries, but it does help if it is possible to remove the drawer. Also, make sure you clean the drawer. Even if you can't take it out, just make sure that it's cleaned. Vacuum, clean it, let it dry before moving on to step three. Measure, that's step three. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you measure from side to side and the depth of your drawer. You wanna get an accurate idea of how much you have to cut for your liner. Step four is to cut the liner. Now I have some videos on my favorite cutting techniques of drawer liner that you can watch right here. Step five is to use frog tape to stick one side of the drawer liner down to one side of the drawer. Then the side that's not taped, you're going to slowly peel off and adhere to your drawer. You're gonna make sure you want to smooth out all of the bumps and the bubbles and everything until you get to the taped side. The reason why I like doing the tape is because it helps keep the drawer liner straight. I can't tell you how many times I put drawer liner in and it has gone all wonky. So use frog tape to make sure that it sticks to the one side so you get a straight line. Finally, you can put the drawer back and then add your items and boom, you have an organized drawer. How amazing is that? For all products I use, check out down below where you're watching this video. Love what you see? Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.